Hello IB students, high level and standard level. We're looking at these 15 mark questions. Uh, I'm sure you don't like these very much. They're not the best kinds of questions. You'll be under lots of time pressure in the exam. Remember, 30 minutes you're looking at to answer a 15 mark question, but you need to know how to do them well. And that is important. And this video is there to guide you in that respect. Um, these are discuss questions, evaluate questions, examine questions, assess questions. IB use a whole range of language, it doesn't matter. The basic idea is to form a two-sided argument. That's what you're looking to do and then come to a judgment. It's a basic idea, we'll look at that in a second. Uh, this is the general structure you can follow uh, and this is especially the structure which is always going to work if you are looking at discussing one policy or examining one policy or one thing, whatever it might be, by thing, it could be like, you know, uh, discuss whether consumption, an increase in consumption will always increase economic growth in a country. Discuss whether high inflation is always bad for a nation. Discuss whether low unemployment is always desirable for a country. You know, these are, these are like one thing to focus on. So if it's one thing or one policy, this structure is going to be fine. It flows. Let's get into it. You start with your definitions, define all the key terms in the question and any other key terms that underpin your essay. If you've defined those key terms in part A of the question, i.e. in your 10 marker, you don't need to define them again. Just say, you know, market failure maybe is as defined in part A. That's all you need to say. All right, so don't repeat stuff you've already done in part A. After your definitions, no messing about, go straight into your on the one hand. At this stage, guys, let me tell you, keep this structure simple. What are these 15 markers? all about. They're about forming a debate. That's what you're looking to do on paper, a debate. One side of the argument is this, another side of the argument is that. IB will word their questions weirdly and try and like confuse you with structure. Doesn't matter. Follow this and you'll be absolutely fine. So here we're looking at one side of the debate. On the one hand, what you need to do. You need to make your points and I've made a video, you can see the link right up here a video on how to write solid points in economics, how to write solid paragraphs in economics. Check that out and that will match what I'm telling you to do here. So you make your points on the one hand and what do you do uh, within the points that you're making? Well, you need to write in depth, serious depth. Might that include a diagram to help you make your point? Of course it might. You know what Ivy like? They love their diagrams. So often you'll use a diagram to back up a key point that you're trying to make on the one hand, for sure. But you need to analyse in depth, whether that's with a diagram or without. Serious depth of analysis needed. Explain everything in minute detail. Apply. Always apply. Use examples throughout your writing to explain the theory, not lumped at the end, not left to your judgement or anything like that. Throughout. Every point you make should have an example going through it. Really good. It brings your answer to life. IB examiners love that. But crucially, once you've explained your theory, evaluate it, evaluate it. And again, I've made a separate video on what good evaluation is. You might be wondering, why have I made all these different videos? Why not all in one? This video will go on forever if I try and explain everything. So I split it up because evaluation is a massive skill. Writing good paragraphs, a massive skill. So these are all separate videos for you to look at, nail. Then you can actually get the structure right. So evaluate. You're looking to, to, to do that every time you make a point, you know, at the end. You want to make something, um, you know, hard hitting about the point you just made. You want to steer the examiner into a certain way of thinking about this point, not just leaving it as it is, bog standard. That's what evaluation is. So watch my video and make sure you do that throughout your essay. So on the one hand, any points you make, evaluate them. Right. You must be answering the question throughout. So all the points you make should be relevant to answering the question. That's one side of the argument. Then you do the other side of the argument, right? So on the other hand, let me talk about some points still to answer the question. And you do it in exactly the same way. Depth, with examples throughout, and evaluating those points you're making. Absolutely. If you're just looking at one policy or one thing, in 30 minutes, how many points on both sides are you looking at? Probably two each. It's probably about right. Uh, maybe one on one side, two on the other side, depending on the depth. You need to work it out depending on the question and depending on your writing speed, that kind of thing. As long as you're as balanced, you'll be absolutely fine. So whatever balance suits you. If it's two and two, if it's one and two either way, it's up to you. Okay. 
um, sometimes you won't have a variety of points. It'll only just be one key thing to talk about. So how does a policy solve market failure? There might only be one key thing to say, but the detail will be massive. So just bear that in mind. So once you've done your two sides of the argument with evaluation throughout, you're then looking at making your judgment. And this is so important in your 15 marker. IB examiners and IB mark schemes put a lot of weight on your judgment. To get into the top level, your judgment needs to be really secure, very well made, very well reasoned, very well balanced, all these key things. Now again, how to write a good judgment, if I go on it, go on it now and talk about it now, I'm going to be on uh, this video for an absolute age. So again, I made a separate video on how to write a judgment. So these three extra videos, how to write a judgment, what evaluation is, how to write good paragraphs in economics. Three separate videos, very important, alongside this structure, for you to make sure these essays can be nailed, okay? That's really important. This judgment, you're looking at leaving yourself at least five minutes to write it, and in terms of quantity, don't think of it in terms of quantity as I need to write this much, but a good judgment will always be around half a page or three quarters of a page long. That's the kind of depth we're talking about in the judgment for you to score big, big marks here, all right? So don't undersell yourself here. Don't think, oh, I've done all of this, I can now take a breather and relax, I've done it. The judgment will take you from maybe 10 out of 15 to 13, 14, 15 out of 15. It's a big, big difference between maybe a 6 and a 7 for you guys. So very important there. Now, this structure works for lots of different IB questions, but you've got to look out. If you've got a question where you need to discuss a range of policies, maybe a range of policies to solve market failure, a range of policies to promote economic growth, or to reduce unemployment, or to control inflation, or to reduce poverty, whatever. If you've got more than one policy to discuss, watch my next video when I adapt this structure ever so slightly to help you answer questions like that. There isn't much of a change, but an important change. So watch that video to see this other type of question that can come as a 15 marker. Hope that helps guys. Practice, especially under time conditions for your exam. Hopefully now you can really be confident with 15 markers and do exactly what you need to score top marks. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next video.